Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. I am your host GGJ. This is your real talk. Right, up on today's show we have got a release coming out from uh, Paladins Grover. Now, Grover is this tank key tree with an axe that does poison damage, that has a heal, that has a vine attack like Spider-Man, as we call him spider Grovy. Um and one of the best ultimates in the game. It's phenomenal. Um, the ultimate does area effect damage like to everybody. So if you're all in the group and he's swirling his axe around, it looks outstanding. Um, really hyped to see him put into competitive play and streamed, of course. The only person I know who took him into competitive play so far is Bugsy from NN. Uh, but that was it, I think. I, I don't think anybody else took him. Not sure on the NA side, I didn't get to watch anybody play him uh those that we managed to catch the stream off uh was not playing him but anyway that was the grover release that was fantastic really good to see another uh champion join the realm of paladins um next up <clears throat> right we had some upsets in the first official paladins and high res tournament uh eu we'll start with eu so we had over amused team question mark noel's arctic vikings uh disco prism uh doomsday and bunnies and then it was death and taxes arkham arcane torpedo fight esports no name All right quite a few people uh played this week i uh i have to admit very very happy with the results we saw and some upsets of course first off over your moves versus team question mark team question mark put out over your moves out of the tournament first round uh two zero no elves versus arctic vikings uh no elves uh came up trumps there two owed uh, arctic vikings then you had disco prism versus doomsday's bunnies doomsday bunny esports took out uh disco prism to zero you know what these new teams coming in to the eu scene is a breath of fresh air it's great i want to see more of it people more of it keep it coming love it death and taxes versus arkham esports first round very close game uh one apiece and then of course death and taxes picking up the second game two one they moved on to fight arcane esports the first major issue uh upset Death and Taxes, a new formerly team, took out Arcane Esports 2-0. They moved on to the semi-finals. Torpedo Gaming got a buy in the first round, uh, as do Fate, no name. Uh, just the way the brackets worked. Um, so Torpedo took on Doomsday Bunnies, and Doomsday Bunny got chopped up for rabbit food. Uh, Torpedo won that 2-0, very quick contention games. Uh, Fate versus No Elves, one of the closest and longest fought out games in the history of Paladins. Um, first off, uh, Fate Esports took the first game in 27 minutes. Second game uh, came down to No Elves taking that in a 25 minute game. And then the longest game ever in like oh my wordy in tournament play that i know of might have got it wrong but it was hype okay it came down to a vault on vault situation fate uh lost the final point they had to defend our vault was on like 15 percent. and as a team owner and i'm sitting in the the comms and i'm like oh my god please paladin gods whatever you're doing please let us win this please i mean it was such an intense game and then we we won and the following point not the final point, sorry, the following point. And we got their uh, vault down to something like 2% and they defended. And it came down to this one final point. Whoever won this last point won the game. And the fight around the point was just went on. It Like there was a never-ending uh, battle and uh, Fatal Sports managed to pick up the point and it came down to it. They executed a little bit poorly, but... They got into the base, the enemy base, and, like, they were doing defensive barrack ultimates, barricades, Fernando shields, anything they could do. Two of the players from No Elves, uh, suicide, taking damage from the um, the siege engine, and then, uh, of course, uh, unbelievable, jumping in, 
as Pip trying to do all this sort of damage. Then Mengemeyer jumping in. Menge got the last couple of hits in, and then Menge went down, and then uh, Noel's just couldn't um, defend the Siege, and the Siege actually picked up the win. Great game. I want to see... I, You know what? If me hyping that up doesn't do it justice you had to have been there to listen to the screams and everybody was cheering it was amazing and you know what seeing in the in-game chat gg 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 everybody gg and great games shout out to no elves what a game so uh then we went into no name esports formerly 404 semi sort of they got three members of it uh versus team question mark who is fresh and easy gaming so they've joined forces to you know put out a new roster and it's really really strong and i mean very strong uh quick concussion games uh team question mark easy gaming or now team question mark took out nn 2-0 that was a major up uh so i didn't know how they were gonna uh fare against i was expecting a 2-1 either way but no team question mark moved on and then team question mark versus fate esports very close games, 21 minutes, 25 minutes. Sadly, uh, Fight didn't pick up that win. It went 2-0 in the way of Team Question Mark. Team Question Mark went on into the finals. The second semi-final was Torpedo Gaming up against Death and Taxes, and that was a quick concession. Um, very fast indeed uh, games, 18 minutes and 15 or something minutes. Uh, Torpedo moved on into the finals in, you know, regular Torpedo fashion. Uh, bronze matchup. Before we get into the... Um, the finals fate versus death and taxes for third and fourth fate esports took a very fast game number one uh second game however was 22 something minutes long and uh fate esports picking up the third place their best finish today and death and taxes coming in fourth again their best uh performance as of to date uh well done to both teams that was amazing play i'm very proud of the boys at fate you know they've gone from getting quarterfinals getting into a semi and now of course getting to third place so we come to the finals wow okay this was so intense and uh we couldn't have stream to watch it was so annoying seeing the results being posted in and we were all sitting there going eh, please let it be close team question mark take game one. First official tournament loss for torpedo in eu in eu because they lost a game against warpath gaming in na and wow like oh my word everybody's sitting there going oh my god who are team question mark and then people are like oh wait that's sawn morrow and that's fresh Oh, Easy Gaming, some old 404 member. Hey presto, there you go, you know. So this was really fantastic. Um, I was so hyped for this game. I really was. Like, I was like, yes. And like having a nail biting semi and third and fourth place matchup, uh, I might, I, pff, I had to cut my hair. I had so much gray hair coming. I swear to God, I grew even older, these matches. Um, <clears throat> so Team Question Mark pulled out the first win against Torpedo. Uh, don't know what happened to Torpedo in that game, but Torpedo then sort of came back, and in traditional essence of Torpedo GG, it was boom, 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 boom. Tick the next three games. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Uh, $350 going out to Torpedo Game, and 150 going out to Team Question Mark. Uh, first, second, third, and fourth all got crystals, I do believe. Or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But crystals throughout the uh, tournament, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I think it was just top four. First, second, third, and fourth. But an outstanding tournament. Uh, shout to uh, the admins. Uh, who were. Uh, Paladin World Fajian, which is Ken. And, of course, uh, Paladin World Dave. These guys put on such a tournament. It was great. Hi, Res Cooper. Shout out to you, my bro. Uh, we had a lot of queries because we had a, during our semi-finals game, we had one player, every time he selected a card, the game would crash uh, and the other pit player would just lag out constantly and get disconnected and have to re-jump in. And like, of course, there was a new rule where there was no pausing, period. Uh, we understood this going in and we knew we were going to have these issues. Uh, we weren't the only team having issues either, but, um, you know, you know what, to see the sportsmanship come out from a question mark as well afterwards was great. Uh, you know, and we, we were thanked as well for putting up with the issues and not put, making uh, Iris Cooper's life's hell and a Paladin's World Team hell. Uh, but we knew these issues going in and we were like, okay, fair enough. We're not likely to make the finals this week. 
let's move on to our third and fourth you know no disrespect to death taxes we managed to win that and it was great uh, great games by the way it was awesome throughout the tournament uh extremely well run outstanding i hats off to you i'd take my hat off if i had it but you know what i'm saying yeah great tournament very well run shout out to cooper shout out to dave and shout out to ken Apart from Dave, who had to disappear for a second, and then Ken, or vice versa, and then run to each other's house. But that's another story. That, by the way, I will tell, because that was absolutely freaking funny. I'm getting messages from Ken that it's actually Dave, and I was sitting here just bawling my eyes out. It was so funny. <laughs> but uh, anyway, moving on to the NA scene. Let me just click that. There we go. Esports, NA. <clears throat> uh, sorry the video is so late, by the way. Uh, we've had new windows and doors being put in and everything like that and it's, oh my word it's been crazy but oh my god this house looks freaking amazing and as you can see like this is my bedroom but this is going to be turned into a studio it's, so i'm going to be sitting behind a desk soon and stuff like that and i'll get to talk into the computer and we're getting all new lighting system and stuff like that brought in oh i can't wait do it professionally it's gonna be awesome so anyway more upsets more upsets in na than eu combined this was a sick tournament on the na side things and there was a lot more streams to watch and i tell you okay i've got a bone to pick to for one of the back to basics guys the back to basic cassie i do believe if i've got it wrong i am going to apologize it was either the back to basics guys or benched cassie player and i'm sitting there I'm just going to say this now. I've got no disrespect to the guy, but Cassie is a ranged champion. This guy was thinking he was freaking Spider-Man, jumping in, rolling forward because he's got disarm and all that sort of, or whatever it was. Um, was it disarm or was it someone else? I can't remember. Whatever. Anyway, and people are messaging me on Discord again. Uh, yep, there we go. Never mind. Anyway, I've had literally, I've had to stop recording four freaking times to help people out on discord and ugh, ugh, but i will get this done today anyway so this guy is running around disengaging but he's running towards the enemy and i'm thinking what the hell what why what are you doing you're a ranged person stop and this guy was picked but the thing is he picked up a quad he picked up three triples and i'm thinking Okay, this guy's very aggressive. But uh, when it came down to like coming up against the enemy's buck player or anybody's barrack player, that's it. He got shut down. And we're all sitting there going, please, God, why are you doing this to us? But it was so good to watch. Um, now, that was either, I can't remember who it was, a warpath or bench. I'm not sure. But anyway, and on to uh, the N8. Now, N8 had death, benched, uh, back to basic, notorious ones, Woot, exile, hold M1, proven, Ronin. Croatian uh, and Warpath Gaming. Uh, outstanding. I don't think I've missed anyone. Bum, 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 bum. No, awesome. Now, this team I know nothing about. Nothing about whatsoever. And that is Exile. Uh, maybe there's some an old team reformed a new name. I don't know. I wasn't told about this. But I'm telling you now, these guys just came out so strong in the first round. Beating out Woot 2-0. Then moving on to the quarterfinals. Uh, Death lost out to Bench 2-0. That was not really, you know, that was sort of a... Uh, no offense to Death, but uh, Bench, you know, one of the best teams in NA. Uh, came out very strong. Beat out them 2-0. Back to basics again. Uh, beating out Notorious Ones 2-0 then we get to the upsets now this is something that shocked me and i mean really shocked me after watching the games and i'm thinking okay what's going up now eu and na regions na is more closer like all the teams are more close in skill level than what eu is you've got eu with the top four team top five teams being a mile ahead and then you've got na that could go anyway and this week was the week for upsets so you had hold m1 versus benched two zero Benched out in the quarterfinals. I've never since benched out in the quarterfinals. Bench crashed out 2-0. Uh, then we had Proven versus Warpath Gaming. Warpath, uh, of course, uh, fall into Torpedo in the Reddit Cup finals. Uh, Warpath Gaming moving on into the semis, picking out a 2-0 win over Proven. <clears throat> then uh, the next uh, upset. Ronan versus Back to Basics. 2-0. So that's benched out already. And that's back to basics. Two of the strongest teams in NA. Gone. Ronin then went on to fight Exile in the semi-final. Exile lose to Ronin. Ronin 
2 0 into the finals. Okay? So, two unknown teams, that, well, to me, hold M1 and Ronin in the finals. Second semi final, hold M1, beat out Warpath Gaming. So, the three strongest teams in all of NA, Warpath, back to basics, benched, you know, all out, all gone. Hold M1 versus Ronin in uh, the finals. And then a bronze match, third and place, plus third and fourth place matchup was XL versus uh, Warpath Gaming. Warpath Gaming picking up third with a 2 0 victory over XL. And Hold M1. I don't know who these guys are, but they're bloody strong. 3 0 Ronin. Now, bear in mind, Ronin beat out XL, who beat out, you know, Wu and Croatian. They had a pretty easy bracket by the looks of things. And then you had, you know, Back to Basics, who lost 2 0 to Ronin. You know, and Ronin then beat Exile and then went into the finals. And uh, you got Hold M1, who knocked out Death, then they knocked out Bench, and then they walked over Warpath Gaming. Bear in mind, Hold M1 beat Benched and Warpath Gaming, two of the top teams in NA. So you think, I, want, I cannot wait till next week. I physically cannot wait till next week. Hold M1. Watch them, guys. These guys look bloody strong, and hopefully, God, please, if you're listening, please let this team stay together. These guys seem like a real contender, okay? And, uh, wow. But, you know, maybe benched Warpath and whatnot, back to basic, we're all having weird weeks. Who knows? NN, having a bad week. We don't know. Um, this will all come out uh, next week, and uh, hopefully. I, I, I've got a massive deal what's going on in the eu scene the eu scene's looking explosive it's looking great teams are disbanding new teams are forming it i love it love it i cannot wait so uh the next on my agenda for this video is guys because you had a bad week don't disband don't give up don't get this heart and continue practicing look at what you're doing wrong have someone sit in on your comms find out who's making mistakes where you can fix these mistakes and you know beacon placements uh how you approach a siege point and stuff like this how you approach gates when you're going to take a gate and stuff like this do you continue to fight first do you try to take it while under pressure what do you do these sort of things will make you a better team learn to sync with your teammates and vice versa with the other teammates yeah this is what makes a great team communication if you don't communicate yeah i'm dead Okay, what what does I'm dead doing? What, what what does that do for your team? Nothing. Zero. Zilch. I'm dead. Okay, how did you die? Who killed you? Did they use an ultimate? What did they use their escape? Is their escape down? Where are they now? You know. Not only that, you can help your team by spectating them on death, left click or space or whatever it is to scroll through. See. Who is going to be ganked? See who is going up against one versus four or one versus two or whatever the situation is. Call. Cool. Make a call. Guys, back him up. He's on point. He needs your help. They're coming in from right. They're coming in from mid. Whatever the call may be, be there to make it. Just because you died in game does not mean you cannot help your team. Okay? Live by these rules. Alright? Because you will be thanked for it. And not only that... It makes the game more fun. People are struggling right now. The game is changing at a rapid pace, which we knew was going to happen. It is closed beta. Hi-Rez even announced it in their official announcement of the uh, preseason tournaments. Where does this leave things right now? Hmm? It means continuous updates, more uh, bugs and fixes, more progression. Everything Hi-Rez do is for the progression of of the game if they don't think something's working they're going to change it this is the time they can do these changes okay allow them to do it every patch i see blah 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 it's not doing it's not working blah blah blah, 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 blah this any other do we like oh my god i don't like this guess what they have to do it they've got to try these things out but i don't know you know you've gotta you've gotta just roll with the punches and take it on the chin when you need to as for your team, stick with it. I hate seeing people come to me on Discord. Oh, Jay, I, you know, I'm looking for a new team. I, I, I can't seem to get on with my team, so forth and so on. 
half the, let me let you into a little secret about Faye Esports. We love each other. We we're like a little family. But I swear to God, half the time I want to chin one of them. Right? And vice versa. Me and Simbred, yeah, will clash on things. Right? Like pff, lightning. Alright? I'm telling you. That half the time I swear to God he wants to throttle me, like kill me with a backstab or a knife or cut my throat or something. I swear to God. Uh Arcos, Menge, these two are so tactical that they sink. And then if I come in and say, ah, well, this might not work, I may as well be sitting there looking at a firing squad. Menge is like, he, if he thinks he's right, he's right. You're wrong. Don't compete with him. It's that simple. But, you know, but you learn to get on with it. And yes, you're going to argue. But don't, don't let those arguments divide you as a team don't let them split you all right go off cool off calm down and come back with a level playing head i have to sim does we all do you're not going to get on with them 100 percent of the time you know it's not all flowers and daisies and holding hands and skipping through the fields right not that anyway why did i even reference that but yeah <laughs> don't don't give up palance is fresh it's new You've got three games of this genre, Overwatch, Paladins, Team Fortress 2, maybe a few others that I've not mentioned, but this is where we've chosen to be, right? Yes, high res make mistakes sometimes and it isn't always to our liking, but you know what? Don't worry about it. The game is there for you, all right? I've been told of a few things coming up in Paladins, it's just absolutely phenomenal, I cannot wait physically cannot wait i know there's a new map coming um the glacier map as i call it it's like a really snowy wintry one and people that know me know that i love that stuff in games uh we've been told that um if you watch the q a dev uh video we're getting weapon skins and stuff like this i physically can't wait this is absolutely outstanding this is crazy this is awesome let's go you know there is things coming just stick in there hold it out um there's a couple of uh, some advice that I would give you. Uh, come up with an attack strategy. Come up with a defense strategy. Come up with a, a, a submission. What I call a submission strategy. Now, submission strategies are you've won the point. Keep them off the point. Keep them at bay or zoning out, if you will. Um, perfect example. Canyon. Right? They're coming on. You've managed to hold it. You've got more points in it than they do. They've got two choke points they can come from. Yeah? And they have to come from these two choke points. Because if they don't, going all the way through mid and round, it's too time constraint, constraining. And what you need to do is have divide it. Look at it. Say, right, this is the moon. We're going to divide it. And play at an angle. And what that means is, have one person here looking for the flank, right? He's got a vision of mid, he's got a vision of top left, and he's got a vision of behind mid. You've got your barrack player holding point with turrets, ultimate if necessary, uh, and then you've got your range carry who's sitting out in the brush or something like that, or high ground, or you've got an EV player or a buck looking to leap or something like that. These things can all be mixed. Don't just take my word for it, take the words from Torpedo and all these big names, all right? For instance, NN. They tried Grover. They knew it didn't work, but they tried it in tournament play and it cost them a game. Perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. But it's just the way I look at it, I don't think Grover is at that competitive level yet. Still needs some more tweaks. But, you know, you you just got to keep at it. Keep practicing. Get those scrims. And find a professional... T right, for instance, for NA. If I was in an NA, I'd be looking at Warpath. I'd be looking at Back to Basics and Bench. These guys are solid teams all right find them ask them for scrims you know these guys are they're all a good bunch of lads and they will you know hell ask them for some advice if you're a new team other such things you can look for is your most mobile player on your team right now this could be master riding on a sky this could be eevee with a saw or so forth a buck with a movable um have them try to pinpoint where the enemy beacon is this is how you do it look where they keep coming from 
right? It gives you a vicinity in which you can look for a beacon. Okay, once you found it, it's destroyed. They've got to travel from there. That is time consumption. Okay, time consumption. Keep them at bay. Keep the zone them out. Keep them zoning them out and stuff like that. That means you're not getting points. Every time they're not getting points, your least damage dealer or someone who can hold a point, like a, uh, a barrack or somebody, of course, barracks are in flame and can do a lot of damage, but he's got turrets that can hold a point. Like he can sit on point. Okay. Maybe a buck with cataclysm. Who knows? Those sort of things are what you want to be looking at. Okay? Don't give up. And I know I've probably said don't give up a million and one times in this video. But it saddens me. And I, I, don't, ju don't, don't just give up because it saddens me. Well, that too. But don't give up because you guys are a pivotal point in the community. All of you. Everybody who watches this video is part of the community on Discord, on the forums, on the Reddit. You are part of a high-res community that is growing stronger and stronger every day. Smite players come over from Paladins and support Paladins, uh, and vice versa. We go play Smite. I play Smite every single day. I'm crap at the game, but I still play it. And vice versa. You know, stick at it. Ask for help. Ask somebody to come sit in on your comms on your team or say, hey, look, I need help. Could you come give me help? If I'm on there, I will always help someone. I, I will always, because I feel a duty to the community to do that. I, 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 I feel the Paladins community is great and I love you guys. You are the best. You are the fucking best. I hate saying that word on my videos, but you truly are. And I love all of you. And I've noticed a lot of people come to me now saying, hey, look, I'm uh, sorry to bother you, I've got a little issue. Could maybe give me some advice, and I do. And I've managed to save some teams, thank God. Um, but it saddens me when I see people kind of, hey Jerry, look, I'm not really feeling my team. Like we're not really competing at the level I feel we could do. Rather than stick at it, you're saying, hey, I'd like to jump ship. Could you find probably help me form a new team, or maybe see if you can find me a team? And and as much as I'm going to help that person because I know that person is very talented and has the skill potential in the game in Paladins to you know go for and be a top contender so I'm going to help that person my my first restraint is what tell me what's wrong with the team see if I can help your team out I mean uh, shout out to Shimikaze uh, over at NN the NN uh, uh, leader manager um, good friend of mine Liam he's he's uh he's helped me out on a few uh today actually he helped me out on a, uh, someone I'm not going to mention on here I uh, needed to find a team and he's you know he's looking up and I said hey Liam could you jump on the team speak and you know, we sat there for about 20 minutes going over teams and stuff that he could probably uh you know uh join and we approached team managers together and stuff like that um because he wasn't sure you know so we said yeah we'll help him out and that seems to be happening on a weekly basis for me now and I sit back and I look at these things and I'm thinking okay I'm looking at the most stable teams where I can get talented individuals to join if they need it like for instance Fate Esports uh, Torpedo in the EU these, do go, these guys are organizations and they are very stable and they've pretty much held their rosters since day one Fate have had a couple of changes, Torpedo may be able to change or something, but um, so those guys are sort of, we look at that and go, right, no, we can't approach them, they're already fitted, but for me, I won't turn down a player. If I feel we've got a talented individual, this is what I do for them. I said, right, I've got my main roster on Fate, okay, that's not, not, not likely to ever change, so here's what I can do for you. I will offer you a zero um, contract, what I call a zero contract, it means I'm not going to lock you to anybody. But there's always a place on my team if you need it, right? If you come in this sub for us, I will make sure you're looked after. Uh, and I will continue to look for a team that suits you, or not vice versa, a team that suits you, whatever. And I won't hold you to staying on fate. Uh, ring for us, sub for us. Uh, but if there's other teams that need it, by all means, please go, you know, make um, connections with other teams. And, and then I'll help them while I'm... Uh, building fate and stuff like that because then I've always got a sub for fate and that maybe they can learn something off the fate boys and then take it into the next team and hopefully have that competitive level um, another thing is I'll always try to help them I won't just say yeah there you go 
help them once. If that isn't working, I say, well, you know, I'm not going to turn them down. I'm going to say, right, okay, come back on board, see what I can do to help you, and we'll go from there. Um, some really nice upcoming teams, or what I've seen is uh, SIO. Uh, that's Ninja Boffin's team. You've got um, DB, which has uh, Bozy and stuff like that. Bozy, Kamka, Kamika. Um, please tell me I've said your name right. Uh, who else was on there? Um, blah, 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 DB Smutty. That's it. <clears throat> That's an upcoming team. They look pretty good. You know, I haven't seen them in action yet, but from what I've been told, you know, in matchmaking stuff, they've been putting out some good results, and hopefully, you know, that'll they'll be joining in the next tournament. Uh, you've got yeah, what was it? Um, NN. Now they've got a solid roster now, and they're churning out great results in scrims. Um, there's there's other teams that like people will. How do I say this? So I'm moving on to the next section of the video now. So so people keep coming to me to help them build a team. So I want to just tell you how my process of doing this is, right? In Paladin's Discord channel, there's a recruitment thread. There's even LFG looking for group on the Paladins um, forums. I scroll through these things, find out these people's names in game, and then I look before I even contact them in game. I go to Discord and I say, right, these guys are all on here, and they're all. It's like people who put looking for group, looking for a team in Discord, don't look above them. See, oh, okay, these people are looking for a group. Maybe if I contact them, you know common sense maybe I, I mean i don't I mean no disrespect to anybody i'm just saying use the common respect you know your common sense look up scroll up a couple of days say right these guys are still looking for a team if they're still and they're active in the discord everybody i know in discord is always active i log on to discord in the morning and i'll have 30 to 40 messages waiting right or people that have tagged me in something but always look above and see, you know, okay, these guys are still looking for a team and they're looking very promising. Let's see what we can do. See if we can work something out. Maybe join their team or see if we can get them to come over to us or whatever. And that is how teams are made. You know, just go out and try something. If it doesn't work, try to stick with it. Communicate with each other and uh, go from there. Anyway, guys, well, that is it for this Real Talk. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, thank you ever much for listening to me uh, dribble on yet again. But you guys seem to love this, so I'm going to keep doing it. But this has been Real, Cor uh, Real Talk. Real Cork? Cork? No, Real Talk. And I am GGJ. And you can follow me here at the bottom, at Jake or Vic, on Twitter. And, of course, if you're new to this video, please, please, please do uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to keep doing this, and it is much appreciated. Right, guys. Love you all. Mwah. You're the best. See you next week.